Hi friends, in this video we will be discussing an another important topic for UGC net examination. In the previous video we have seen the exam pattern, unit 1 teaching aptitude, unit 2 research aptitude, unit 9 people environment and development. In this video we will be discussing the mathematical portion of the examination. Now let me discuss why this is important. See the remaining units are subjective in nature. If you go to the question you will have confusion between one or two option. But in the case of objective type of questions, you got the question, you solved it and you are 100% sure about the answer. So spending time on these three units actually will improve your score. In the case of unit 5, the important topics are number system, averages, codes, percentage, time and distance, profit and loss. In the case of number system, you must be really thorough with multiplication, addition, subtraction and division. See, number system will help you to solve almost all the mathematical problems. In the case of codes, you will get definitely one or two questions. In the case of averages, you must be thorough with, you know, average distance, average time and average speed. In the case of percentage, you must have basic information like 1 by 2 is 50 percentage, 1 by 4 is 25 percentage, 1 by 5 is 20 percentage, 1 by 3 is 33 percentage. This type of knowledge will help you to eliminate some of the options. In the case of unit 6, the most important topics are logical and deductive reasoning and Venn diagram. I will say Venn diagram is the most simplest topic of this examination. If you spend 5 or 10 minutes on a daily basis for 15 days, you can simply crack these questions. In the case of unit 8, the most important topic is data interpretation, in which a data will be given and based on data, you have to solve 5 or 6 questions given in the question paper. Out of these 6 questions, 1 or 2 questions will be really very easy. You can attend that question in the first reading itself, but some questions will be moderately difficult and some questions will be really tough. You should not attempt these questions in the first go. You keep these questions in the last of the session. Only tough questions should be answered at the end of the session. So, in the case of an examination, time management is extremely important. You should attempt only easy questions in the first go. Moderately difficult questions should be in the second phase. Only at the end of the session, you should attend the tough questions because it is really time consuming. And the next method I am going to discuss is elimination method. See, there are two approaches to an examination. One, you know the answer, you attended it. The second is elimination method. Out of the four options, with a, some calculated, educated guess, you are eliminating two options. And you are attending the question. This is called elimination method. This also you can apply in your examination. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and please do share and subscribe. Thank you. In the next session, I will be coming with an another interesting video that will help you to score more in your examination. Thank you once again.